What's up, cowboy fans out there? This is Will again, coming at y'all with another video. Hey, guys, I wanted to discuss and talk about the uh, cornerback position and why it is important for a defense, for a team to have a shutdown corner in the secondary, uh, especially with the Dallas Cowboys, because I don't care about anybody else but the Dallas Cowboys. I just wanted to, to kind of go over some things, guys, some experiences I had in the past and what I've seen uh, back in the day in football and things like that. And just kind of, you know, show you guys why it is very, very important to have a shutdown corner in your secondary. When you have a shutdown corner, it uh, it controls at least one side of the field. All you need is one. It's good to have two, but um, all you need is one. If you have one and you have a, a, a strong, uh, some strong safeties uh, to, to, to back you up, uh, it, it will really help the front um, part of the defense, which meaning the uh, defensive line, the linebackers. Um, being a cornerback is uh, very important. Uh, you can't take it for granted. It is most of the best thing about being a cornerback. You can kind of do what you want to do. It's You can kind of come up with your own style. Of course, you have to go by playbooks and different plays and setups and formations and things like that. But you're on an island by yourself. And um, whatever you do, however you react to the play, you can be a, a playmaker, you know. Um, for example, uh, I, I use this guy. He's the greatest of all time at the position, uh, Deion Sanders. Uh, this guy was, he was a glove. I mean, he you, you couldn't coach him. You couldn't teach him anything. He knew where to be. Uh, he knew how to trick the quarterbacks into thinking that his receivers were open to uh, so he can see some action. Because a lot of times, Dion would be on that island by himself, and he would see no action the whole game. They wouldn't even throw his way. Uh, that is very strong for a defense to have that type of athlete, that type of superstar on their team at that position, at that magnitude to shut down a whole side of the field. Just imagine you playing cornerback and you're not getting any action because that quarterback is scared to throw your way. Unbelievable. It opens up so many doors for, you know, the defensive line to get sacked, you know, uh, more time, you know, for the quarterback to make a decision on who to throw to because he can't throw over to your side. So um, the cornerback position is very, very important if you treat it right and if you do it right. Now, Deion Sanders wasn't always a shutdown corner. You know, he was very great in college. He had a tremendous college career. Um, but he didn't come to the league being a shutdown corner. He, it took him a couple of years to kind of learn because, you know, it's different from when you, you know, playing college and, and, and running things and uh, being dominant on a college level to coming in the NFL with these grown men. And, you know, you're going against Jerry Rice and the best receivers of all time. And their routes are more precise. They cut quick. They cut on a dime. Uh, the route running. Jerry Rice wasn't the fastest thing in the world, but he was an excellent route runner. Michael Irvin wasn't the fastest thing in the world, but he was an excellent route runner. That's how they were able to get open and uh, and make plays and, and score touchdowns. Um, Deion Sanders had a lot of problems with a lot of the receivers back in the day. He had to learn and adjust. Um, he didn't become a shutdown corner probably until mid to the end of his Atlanta Falcons, you know, career, on on until you know, 49ers and and, uh, and, and as well as us Dallas, um, they I remember Dion getting beat a lot. You know, Dion was the fastest thing on two feet in football for, you know, probably at the end of his career. Uh, but Dion got burned a lot of times because the technique. There's technique in being a cornerback. It's not just lining up and lining up in front of somebody and and jamming them, and that's all you got. There's technique and there's 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 uh, things that you got to learn, positions that you got to be at in order to make a play on the ball. Uh, what I'm seeing now in the cornerbacks of today, I'm seeing a lot of clumsiness, uh, a lot of clunkiness at the position. They're lined up, you know, 20 yards back because they're scared. Uh, or if they are jammed up, it's pass interference because they don't know how to look back when the ball is in the air, you know. A lot of these coaches, I don't know what the hell they're thinking or doing, or defensive back coaches or defensive back players. They're they're playing, they're teaching their guys to play the man. I mean, I, I've never seen so many pass interference calls in my life, you know. Uh, you know, 
after Dion, you know, and guys like that, and Rod Woodson and, and Daryl Green and Anelius Williams, uh, you know, back in the day. But it, when you play on the man, you know, these guys aren't looking back when the ball is in the air. And they're just playing the man and running all into him and just clumsy, you know, and they'll bleep, pass interference. I mean, that's a quick shot to get, you know, 15 yards or wherever that ball lands. That's where, passing the, that's where the ball is going to be first down, you know. Could be on the one-yard line. Who knows? But um, um, my 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 thing is when you're a cornerback and you're sticking a receiver, you're playing man up, you're playing cover one or, or cover zero, that's man, um, and the ball is in the air, when that receiver, when you read his eyes, that, that quarterback has four, three to four seconds to find somebody open th and throw the ball. Uh, and that's... That's pushing it. <laughs> so uh, he has to be on his, his toes trying to find somebody, you know. And he already knows when he comes out of the huddle who he's going to throw to, his superstar receiver, who, his possession receiver, who he's going to, you know, throw the ball to. And uh, in the back of your mind as a corner, you should already know that ball is coming your way because, hell, you're sticking Des Bryant or you're sticking uh, Julio Jones or you're sticking uh, Odell Beckham or Jerry Rice or whoever their star receiver is. That's who you're guarding. So you know the ball is coming your way. So when that receiver's eyes are in the air, that means the ball is coming. He's not looking at the damn stars. So when his eyes are in the air, hell, you look back at the ball too. See, the key to defense, and this is any sport, any sport, the key to defense is getting the ball back, having possession of, get, getting possession of the ball back. Make a play on the ball, not the man. The only time you make a play on a man if it's a run play and you trying to tackle him. But as far as a receiver goes, you know, you, you have peripheral vision. A lot of these guys don't even know, probably can't even spell peripheral vision because they don't use it. You know what I mean? When you're playing cornerback, your eyes are, your, your head is on a swivel. I know back in the day when I used to play cornerback at different levels, uh, starting with high school, uh, our, our defensive back coach would tell us, hey, you're sticking this guy, but you can see you know, the quarterback and what he's going to do. You know, you can tell when that quarterback plants and opens up, he's going to throw the ball. Make a play on the ball, not the man. He ain't got the ball yet. Now, if he happens to catch the ball and he's on you, then you make a play on his ass and tackle him or force a fumble or whatever you got to do to save the play. But these guys are just running into these receivers and just slouchy and just stupid. Man, I don't know what the hell is going on, but... Uh, the cornerback black position has really just gone to pieces, man, because the way these guys are being taught, you know, they being taught screwed up, you know, but look, look at me. I'm no expert. I'm just, you know, going by life experiences. But, uh, you know, my days of playing cornerback, I've always played the, I, pl I played the ball, I always played the ball. I didn't give a damn what coach said. You know what I mean? I mean, we had different coverages, you know, just like in the NFL. You know, you got cover zero, well, cover one, both of those are man. You got cover two, which is, uh, you know, anything five yards, seeing the flat. Uh, cover three is pretty much a base. Cover three and cover four is pretty much the same for a cornerback. Uh, it's different for safeties. Maybe they have a zone, uh, uh, deep thirds or middle thirds. But uh, for a cornerback, cover three, cover four, that's pretty much a straight back pedal, you know. Uh, you know, just try not to give it the big play. I mean, that's, that's what the Cowboys do anyway. You know, Tampa 2, defense, uh, cover 4, you know, dime, cover 4, uh, cover 3, nickel, you know, things like that. So that's basically a Tampa 2 type defense. But, um, the, you know, the, there's a science to the cornerback position. You have to master it. These guys haven't done it yet. I don't give a, I mean, I, I don't know who we're going to start at cornerback. I made a video uh, a couple of weeks ago about you know, who I think I started corner should be. And I think I said uh, uh, Skandrick and Brown. Uh, I'm kind of changing my mind about Skandrick um, because of his inconsistency. He's more of a better slot cornerback or, or a dime, nickel, whatever you want to call it, cornerback. He's not really a, a good outside one-on-one -on -one type guy all the time. Every now and then, yeah, but not all the time starting at the position. Now, the thing about a cornerback uh, especially in any deep, uh, secondary position, just say secondary position, um, it's repetition. You got to keep out there. You got to stay on the field. Now, we've drafted a lot of cornerbacks and, and, and safeties and shit like that. And, you know, 
uh, that's one thing um, you don't want to worry about is coming out of the game. You know, Anthony Brown showed a lot of potential last year, and he was able to learn because he was he was forced out there because uh, Mo Claiborne got hurt, uh, which was a good thing because Anthony Brown showed that he was a lot better for the position than him. But um, it's repetition, man. You can't be alternating. And, oh, well, let's try him, or let's try this guy, or let's try. You got to have a start in two cornerbacks, and that's it. Uh, I think it should be Cheeto and uh, and Brown. That those are my two. You know, put Cheeto go ahead if he's a rookie. I don't care. They got to start from somewhere. Go ahead and throw him in the fire. Get him ready. Get him experienced. If he gets beat, hell, he gets beat. You cannot learn until you get beat. You see what I'm saying? All this predicting. Oh, Cheeto's gonna do this, and oh, he's gonna be this. We don't know that. We don't know that yet until he plays. Until he plays and and, and, and gets beat and gets burnt and makes a couple of tackles here and there and. Uh, Deflect, you know, intercept some passes or deflect some passes or whatever. Then I'll be like, okay, he's going to be this and he's going to be that. But he hasn't played. These guys haven't played the down yet, so we don't know. But um, you got to keep them out there. It's repetition. Um, that's how you learn. You can't just like driving a car. You can't. Uh, you can't get in the car, sit down, go around the block, and then rest. Oh, okay, that's not, You got to go out there, get out in the traffic. Uh, go to a four-way stop, go to a busy intersection, go in the busiest places, or driving a stick. You know, you, you you jumping around and shit. You won't learn and figure out, you know, that that, that uh, clutch and, 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 and gas has to be kind of like this. And you'll, you'll, you'll come up with your own style and methods of driving a stick and you get better because it's repetition. You're doing it every day. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing about the cornerback position. You got to keep them out there. Now, the, the, the front four... And uh, the linebackers, they learn quick because they're the first. They're our first and second line of defense. They see everything first. We're way in the back. Safety and cornerbacks, we're way in the back. And, you know, we don't see nothing unless that, that uh, running back breaks out or unless we get a pass thrown our way. And that's the only type of action that we're going to see, you know, depending on the defensive formation that we're playing. But, um, yeah, that, the de defensive line and the linebacker, that's it. That's, uh, that's our first line of defense right there. But if they happen to get through, we got to be able to step up and make a tackle or make a play. But, uh, uh, you know, cornerback position is, is very important to me. I, I love it. I love everything about it. I know we're down to a science. I just, I, you know, whoever they're going to start, they need to go ahead and start them. I know the season hasn't started. Uh, everybody, all the rookies had a great mini camp and OTAs and things like that. But, you know, when game time starts, they need to figure out who the starting two cornerbacks be because having a shutdown corner is very, very important because you can shut down a whole one side of the field. There's nothing greater than that. I remember times where prime time didn't even have to go to the huddle because you, you couldn't teach him nothing. He knew everything about it. He had he had his own playbook. He had his own style and the way he wanted to do things. That's why he was so great. So if, you, if you're a good corner, you could be at that level of prime time. But they has, there hasn't been one since. You know, there have been a couple, but there hasn't been, you know, at the level of Dion yet. But, you know, that's all I got, guys. That's all I wanted to go over and cover the cornerback position and how it is very, very important for – uh, the Dallas Cowboys to really focus on that position and make it great again because right now it's just a position. You know, cornerback used to be a position with style and elegance and grace. Now it's just like, oh, you know, I'm playing cornerback and uh, yeah, I'm passing the fans. Oh, okay, well, anyway, you know, next play. You know, and it, it, <laughs> that's all it's about now. But uh, we need to focus on defense, defense, defense this year, mainly in the secondary cornerback. Uh, who our secondary start? Who our, who our start, starting secondary is going to be? We don't even know that yet. Uh, but we'll see, guys. It's all in the air right now. But we still got time. Still got the rest of the offseason to go. And uh, it'll be uh, training camp on the 24th of July. And our first preseason game August 3rd. Right around the corner, man. So, hey, guys, y'all stay up. Stay prayed up. Stay safe. And holler back. Subscribe. Comment. Leave a like. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is